YouTube family, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, as you guys saw from the title, I'm going to be discussing three reasons that God may have you wait, right? And you could be waiting on anything, any season, just waiting. Um, these three reasons really, like, really helped me in my waiting, in my just just in my like singleness and just waiting like to be married and to have a family and to just walk in that these three reasons really helped my waiting just seem so much more easier and sweeter and full you know what I mean and then I'm going to be just sharing some good news with you guys at the end or at the middle of this video so you kind of have to keep on looking to see what part of the video I discuss what we have to discuss if you are not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram right now at Takeda Makeup. Guys, I have something coming up for all makeup artists. Like all makeup artists who like, um, just like trying to venture into the makeup business. You know, I've been doing this for maybe like eight years now, nine years I've been doing makeup. And, um, so... I really have something that I want to do for the makeup artist, um, like just to be able to give back and to kind of take people up with me, you know what I mean? Like as I'm growing, I want to make sure that people are growing too. So I'm really like putting something out there on June the 1st for all makeup artists. So if you're a makeup artist in training, you want to start doing makeup, you want to start making money from doing makeup, you want to get into the makeup business send this video to that person or just tell that person to follow me on instagram and if you are that person follow me on instagram right now at takeda at takeda makeup and also just follow me on my personal page at takeda joseph because i just share with like my my um my um life with you guys on that page so let's just get into this video because these three steps guys oh my gosh i really want to share it with you guys i kind of feel like I'm, I'm like tilted this way if guys if I look tilted I'm sorry so guys let's just get into this discussion I want to take my time because I feel like I try to keep the videos short so sometimes I could just like rush through the topics because I want to keep it short but I know how these three points really helped me and I and I actually learned it from a message um, from this guy I listen to like every week his name is Apostle Joshua Salmon and when I learned this I was like Hey, I am definitely, I was going to say heck, like heck, I'm definitely sharing this with my YouTube channel, but I like have to definitely share this with you guys um, because I gained so much revelation and so much knowledge from these three points. His teachings are amazing. So just let's get into it. So, um, guys, I know like a lot of you may be waiting for so many things, so many different reasons. I mean, waiting for nothing is easy. But um, the one reason that God may have you wait is because he's preparing you, he's working on you. And I know this is so annoying. I would hear people say this and I would just be like, shut up. Like, could you please just shut up? Like, oh my gosh, everybody always think they have a reason why they know that God making you wait. You know what I mean? And I would be so annoyed, like, just shut up. But you know what, like for me, my waiting is singleness, right? or like waiting to be married or like waiting to have a family or like waiting to be in a relationship any one of the three waiting to be engaged you know what i mean i just need to start somewhere right um so and then you know i thought about the scripture the scripture said he who finds a wife finds a good thing so first of all you know the bible is so tricky because he who finds a wife like why would you find somebody's wife but i think that scripture is saying that like we you know like god has to prepare us to be the wives for the men that he knows that he has for us so whoever your husband is right whoever is this person that god has for you whoever is this person that you have to choose because i believe that we could choose right whoever is this person that you have to choose like you really have to be the woman that fits him i'm not just i'm not saying this in a way because um like you are insufficient or you need to be better but the guy on the other hand could be working towards being the person that fits you too. So sometimes it's not just all about us and like, you know, some single messages will be like, well, you um, to um, be better and do this, that, that. And God needs to work on you. Yes, God needs to work on you maybe because you need to be mature enough. Because um, some people get married at 24, some people get married at 30. So maybe you need to be mature enough for like that season of your life to go as God plan, or maybe He needs to be mature enough to um, to um, to um, kind of like 
be with you and to kind of like steward you and to kind of like lead you so sometimes it's gorgeous working to make everything right like he's working on your character he's working on your growth like, every time god reveals his will to you every time god you know just confirms to you this is going to happen like you're going to a next level in business you're going to a next level in motherhood you're going to a next level in friendship there's a different version of you that is required to take you to that level you know what i mean um so even if you're waiting on having kids there's a different version that's required of you to be a mom there's a different version that's required of you to be a wife to, you know to be a girlfriend to be whatever the case is there's a different version of you that's required and before i would look at this as a bad thing like oh my gosh god like are you saying i'm not good enough like are you saying i'm this and i'm that but sometimes he does it for our own good and because he wants that when we get to that point and we get to that stage that we like that we really able to enjoy it and keep it safe because we mature enough to kind of maintain it you know what i mean like every month that goes by and, if, and like every year that goes by that i am still single i'm like god oh i see what you're doing i'm like god i see you because the transformation that i experience weekly daily monthly is just ginormous you know what i mean and i don't believe that i would stop when i get married or when i get into a relationship but it's so necessary like god knows sometimes if he put us in places before we are ready we would wreck it we would completely wreck it so sometimes he's working on you in the best way possible so point number two is that he is working on other factors in order for that will to be fulfilled in order for that promise to be fulfilled right guys you don't know if your husband could be in timbak too you don't know i heard a story one time right and the pastor he was saying or the minister somebody was saying that this couple come to them for prayer because they really wanted to have a baby and it just wasn't happening and he said he prayed for them and he felt like the holy spirit told them that the reason why you're not getting pregnant now is because the spouse for your child if you get pregnant now like the timing will kind of be off and what does god want to do with this child that you're going to make and the spouse that they're going to have the timing need to be right like the alignment need to be right same thing with elizabeth and mary if it is elizabeth didn't wait what would have happened with mary what would like come on you guys see how all of that worked out so sometimes the the the, the factors surrounding your waiting is um something that god is working on like the surroundings need to be right and guys it so happened with the same story that the couple come back maybe like 24 years like 24 years later and told the pastor that is true and they really met and they and and the children was the right age and now they're doing ministry and now god is really using them sometimes the factors need to be right sometimes god need to take you from this country put you in that country in the right time sometimes god need to just like make sure that the guy have a job he you know like he able to accommodate it's so much guys it's just so much like it's lies we dealing with here it's not just like and god he's excellent in everything that he does and he wants to do it well and sometimes that takes time not our 24 hour time but his time right so the the like the like the right people have to be in place to bless you your destiny helpers need to go in place you understand people who are in the wrong place sometimes god is removing people to put the right people in place to be able to bless you like you know the atmosphere every like god is so strategic he is so he is so perfect in all of his ways that the surroundings the atmosphere everything has to be perfect for his will to be accomplished in your life you understand what i'm saying and perfect in is in um his eyes because he could see down the road not perfect in our eyes and guys like just like because i believe like i'm at the end of my singleness journey so when i think about just the journey i'm like wow god you was really working on the factors like you were really working on the factors i could see it like i could see just just with my whole life with me maturing with god working on me just with the way my life is now and i'm kind of like going into that season like of uh, like having relationships and being married like i'm going into that season now i'm like god i can see how you were working on the factors surrounding 
right and I'm sure there's many other factors that he's working on that I am not able to see you understand what I'm saying so that was point number two but point number three is what hit it out of the park for me when I heard point number three I was like it just it just transformed something in me point number three just broke something off of me point number three just drove this message home to me and I hope it does the same for you too point number three is the reason why God may be making you wait is because he's fighting battles that we cannot see that would try to take place down the road and he's overtaking the enemy and all his little schemes that he's trying to put up so that purpose wouldn't be accomplished so that destiny wouldn't be um be made so that you know just like generational curse wouldn't be broken so that legacy wouldn't be made the enemy is trying now to just put all these obstacles in place and god is just during you waited god is like fixing two years ahead he's fixing three years ahead so that when he press go when he say it's time when he says it's time to get married, it's time to have that child, it's time to buy that house, it's time for that new job. Let me tell you this, Sally is gone. The manager who would have bothered you is gone. The person the enemy would have used for you to get fired before time is gone. You understand? So you waiting here now and God is setting everything up. He's just pulling down every stronghold, every Goliath the enemy may try to put, every Red Sea, he's parting it. Like God is really overtaking and overthrowing every plan of the enemy in that promise that you're trying to walk in. So that when he press go, the, the way is clear. So that when he press go, he would, like, he would maintain that. Remember in the scripture right now that says, unless the Lord builds the house, we labor in vain. Unless he, the watchman, watch it over the city, the watchman watches in vain. It's like, unless God clear the way, anything you do is in vain. Unless God really set this up, anything you do is in vain, right? So that, like this point number three just really wrecked me because I was like, wow God, because of your love and because you love me so much and because you love us so much, you had me wait to make sure that when my daughter go into this season that it's right and that it's easy and that it's a blessing that make it rich and add it no sorrow and that the atmosphere will be right the surroundings will be right that God protects that promise so much right and God is a God of integrity so that means that when he fulfilled this promise it, trust me baby it's gonna be right because integrity is one of his names right um maybe it's not but i just think like he's a god of integrity and i'm standing on that so when he sends you forth into the season you could walk so boldly you could walk so strongly and it would be like this kind of cage where it's like god has just like you know covered you and protected that area so much that the enemy cannot even try not even a finger he could lift because god already went ahead and prepared the way for you so guys take these three points with you all and really apply it to your waiting season whatever you're waiting on whatever you're waiting for right and whatever you're waiting to do whatever you're trusting god for know that he's out there fighting those battles that we cannot see so that when it's time for you to go you can go effortlessly and easily with the peace of the holy spirit know that he's organizing the factors around it so that you will be comfortable so that it would be beneficial to you and to his kingdom and to your legacy and to your destiny and know that he's preparing you every level that you go to every new level requires a different you then on the back end of this now guys is when it is God actually press go sometimes some of us we wait so long sometimes you're just so weary you believe him for this child I saw a woman say she believed in that child for nine years could you believe some people they said girl for so many years some people they believe in for this job this house this car it could be whatever guys but when it is God say it's go time when it is the Holy Spirit confirm that the season change, really walk in that. Because sometimes it's hard to walk in it because you're saying, God, is this really happening? Are you really doing it? Because the pain of the waiting and the turmoil, you know what I mean? The pain of just like that Egypt, you know what I mean? 
the pain of just like being in that Egypt situation. It's like you can't see the promised land. You can't, like you can't enjoy the promised land because of that pain. You know what I mean? But I'm reminded of the scripture Isaiah 43, 19. It says, forget the former things. So when it is God press that go, remember the scripture. Forget the former things. I am doing a new thing. Don't you see it? It's springing forth. You know, the word says that he will make ways in the desert. Like he will make a road through the desert. You understand? He will make, make rivers flow where water probably not even supposed to flow. That means that he would make away like when it's like when it is god press go and you're on god time now baby get ready get ready you understand and i really wanted to drive that point home because sometimes just the pain of just the waiting and just going through that season is just sometimes you only promise now and you're just like you're just so afraid to enjoy the fullness of it because the pain of what you went through before is just so fresh you understand and then fear and then anxiety start to rise up but guys believe god believe that even where you are right now that was a promise that god had made so even as you stand in this promise and you're going forth into our next season that he has promised you remember that where you're standing now okay you did this so now i'm able to walk into that because i know that the same way you did this for me is that you're gonna do for me in that season i don't know if i'm making sense but i want you guys to don't just don't allow the pain of egypt and of the past to really hinder your future and what it is god is going to do and you walking in your promise and have joy remember god clearly we god has done it and he's going to walk you through right guys i hope you guys was encouraged so guys i'm actually doing a woman's devotional so it's a woman grow devotional so it's a grow devotional so it's a devotional for anybody who wants to grow in their relationship with god rekindle their relationship with god just grow like how we or you or whoever it's going like going into your season of your promise how do you grow through now so this devotional this 31 day woman's devotional is for you and it's an ebook and i just wanted to announce it firstly here this is the first time ever i'm announcing it like i'm doing an ebook devotional and i'm gonna do hard covers too but we're starting off with the ebook 31 day woman's devotional and guys i'm so excited to be launching this devotional right um uh, it's just been a whirlwind, a journey, just right in 31 days. But it's because it was so full of God. And it was so like, like the Holy Spirit really downloaded in me to, to like be of help and really help his people, like feed his sheep. That it was just so much to write, you know what I mean? Because it was just so good. Like the information, like the prayers, like the stories, the scripture, everything. It's just, it, like, it's just beautiful. So guys, look out for that 31 day woman's devotional. Get your monies ready. It's going to be an ebook. I'm going to have pre-orders. So that is what I wanted to tell you guys. And also, let's just say a little prayer to end on this video. So Father God, I just thank you for my sisters here and even my brothers who may be watching. And I just thank you because God, you are really a God who can be trusted. You're a God of integrity. God, we can trust you and help our hearts to know that we can trust you. That eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard what you're about to do in our lives. Father God, we thank you that... Even in the waiting season, God, it may have been hard for some of us, God, but you, like, honestly, that was you showing us your love, like, and protecting us and keeping us and growing us so that we will be able to live in your fullness, God, as we step into destiny, God. I just thank you for every single person watching this video. I pray that it would be a blessing. I pray that it would be received like well like for each person god help them to receive it the way that they need to receive it god bless this channel bless the people watching this channel god bless their lives bless their families bless their homes god and just really continue to pour out your spirit pour out your grace your mercy and your love upon them god i just really just pray and ask god that your guardian angels will encamp around them and your peace will go with them every day and in everything they do god as it is in heaven let it be done on earth concerning 
all of us all of us me and these ones watching this video in jesus name amen so guys thank you so much for watching this video um and i hope it helps you follow me on instagram leave a comment like this video guys um, but i want to get it out because i know that it would help so many people and um remember not to be afraid to walk through your promise you know what i mean do it boldly and with joy because your daddy your god your abba your yahweh has already made a way so thank you guys for watching see you guys next time